Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Oh my gosh, hello girls. What's the Darjeeling? What's the tea? What's the gout? Oh my gosh, hi everyone. So today we are going to be watching a video that is incredibly disturbed, we will say. So on my live stream I did on Thursday, uh, I was sent this video quite a few times of a girl closing her ear using acid. So apparently she's trying to use acid to close her stretched ears. I don't know, just even just saying that sentence is unacceptable. So I have the video here. The video is literally called TCA acid closing my stretched ears. I don't, ugh, I don't even, I can't, I'm, I'm triggered already. I can't even, what, what in the actual hell? Quickly, just before you do get onto the video, just a little reminder, I am doing Twitch streams now. I do Twitch three times a week. So we play lots of fun little horror games and things. So come, come, come and follow me on Twitch down below. It's really West on Twitch. Um, come to the fun girls. But anyway, guys, let's not beat around the bush, eh, and get straight on to this <gasps> video. Now I can get into what this video is about. So if you don't know, I'm trying to join the military. Okay. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a vlog series so on that. joining the military. It's a little bit harder for me joining the military because of all these stipulations i'm gonna have tattoos i have piercings and i have a criminal history okay can, can i just say that okay i just quickly say i mean I, I don't know i don't know the, the american system of england or whatever but like i find it so ridiculous that like you can't go like they well i mean you can but like they're so funny about people having tattoos and piercings stuff. like piercings i can understand because it can be hindrance like if you're you know it's just say you go to battle or something and it gets caught but i get that to be like funny about people having tattoos in the army like to me that just seems so like 1950s like i don't understand like what to me that make, to me it just makes no sense just a little insight i was a 716th so that 716. was a little was bit double above zero? a double gauge which is um the size that you can't come back from okay. so most of the time she and couldn't that go was back my problem size. you go to meps which is the medical exam they have to be able to shine a light through your earlobe and as you can see why it just kind of like up. why didn't you shine a light through your earlobe i don't understand side which is a big no-no they're going to send you home so I have to now close my ear. So get it. Let me first say I'm not a medical examiner. So if you do this at home and you screw yourself over, please don't try to sue me. No, I'm a don't do this at home. Don't don't do this at home. Okay? Don't if you're going that to. That being said, I'm broke, bitch. So I cannot afford that expensive ass surgery. If I could afford a surgery, I would get my ass done. Excuse me, I wouldn't get my ears done. Let me just say that. What I find really funny about this kind of stuff is like people always say like, I don't have the money to do it. I don't have the money to get piercings. I don't have the money to get the surgery. I don't have the, like surely having chemical burns and potentially all the horrendous things that can happen. Like if you have to go to hospital because of that, like that, the price of getting all that surgery because you've given yourself chemical burns is going to be so much more money than if you just go pay to have your ears sewn up. If you haven't got enough money, the last thing you should be doing is playing with acid. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. I did a little research and I found this method with TCA acid. No. Oh God, it's like acid. Wait, so it says danger corrosive causes severe burns to every area of contact harmful if swallowed or inhaled <sighs> i can't afford the surgery so i'm gonna put this on myself like what happens if you spill it over like not only your ear like not only if you're putting it on your earlobe but like what happens if you drop it and it goes all over your, your chest and you need suddenly like uh, you know like what what like this is just so stupid like it's so stupid it's so stupid it's our con Wow! Wow! So I just googled actually what this acid was. I have no idea. And it says the acid is a corrosive chemical, and contact can severely irritate and burn the skin and eyes with possible eye damage. Breathing the acid can irritate the nose and throat. Breathing the acid can irritate lungs, causing coughing and shortness of breath. What are you doing? Like you're. What are you doing? You have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea what you're doing. Like and corrosive chemical is literally in capitals. Like. And like, you look like you're just in a bathroom as well. So like, there's not even a ventilated area. So you're gonna probably be breathing that in. I ordered my kit off of Amazon for like $15. She got off Amazon. Like, like it what? Came with the acid. <sighs> the fact that you can just like, just and buy acid on Amazon. So that it can work as fast as possible. It comes- She got 100% as well. It's not even like a diluted acid. It came with gloves, which is great because I didn't want to go to the store for any. So she's got gloves and she's just handling them, you know, willy-nilly. Let's start by putting my gloves on. Let's start with, yes, yeah, put the gloves on. You don't want some safety. Are we going to be careful with the gloves because we got to reuse these gloves. I'm not, I'm not going to the store for no more gloves. It just gets worse. It just gets, there's nothing worse than people like going like, I'm going to be safe, but then completely doing not safe. Like, 
This is the thing as well. Like when she picked it up, she was touching the top of it. She was like, I've got the gloves here. Like spreading all your germs onto the gloves. People seem to think that like these gloves repel dirt. Like it's impossible for these gloves to get dirty. Like all the gloves do is act like a barrier between you and the patient. But you know, if you're going to pick the gloves up with your fingers and touch the ends of it and just play with them and stuff and then like reuse them, you're getting all the dirt onto the fingers, like on the edge of the gloves fingers before you've even like used them. So the whole theory behind this is that it's going to burn my lobe, all right? And awful. then when you burn the lobe, it's just gonna have to naturally heal back up. And I've heard like she was like, it's just a theory it, as well. You know, it's not even like ugly, a proven nasty thing. scab, but it's gonna eventually close up. I've never heard anyone in, in my whole world of like piercing has ever, ever said that. Like I've known a lot of body piercers and no one has ever, ever said this ever. I'm gonna start by taking a Q-tip and some coconut oil. Coconut oil is dirty because so I use So she's putting that. coconut oil on so it first. I use that okay, fair anyway. enough. Ooh, I think I got some on my neck, y'all. Oh, shit. Shit. Why? This is it. Why are okay. you not wearing like a towel or something just protecting <laughs> you, you from thick, here? So like, you why are you not wearing anything that protects this? Oh, I get on my neck. Yeah. Okay. It's on the. Coat. Oh, it's oh, it's off, guys. This I can't. I don't even want to. I don't even know if I want to watch it. Like, why is she not wearing something to protect her chest? Like, imagine if she now, spilled it, it on herself. Burn, so of course it's going to spread. That's why I have to use a protective. It's going to spread. That wonderful. Now, you cannot just leave the don't stop touching yourself your skin you do have to take it off that is why you have the baking soda as the neutralizer i'm not gonna use all this baking soda because like i said like like stop 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 trying to do it like a tutorial she's like trying to give you information like do it like this no stop it you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you're doing do why are you giving a tutorial of how to do this like you don't know what you're doing you're not a licensed chemist like professional doctor kept like you what are you doing now that your ear is protected you've already put your protectant you got your I, I, I neutralizer don't feel like that's a protection Ready. to be honest now like i said you do not keep this on and like keep it on all day stop stop giving a tutorial stop giving it I'm, I'm muting this bit stop giving a tutorial i'm gonna see how long i can last i do need this to work as quick as possible so i'm possibly gonna just do 10 minutes so she she ended up con contradicting herself and doing more than what she just advised you guys to do this is a uh, guys i oh it's making me so uncomfortable i hate it i hate it oh god just going in with it. What, what if she stabs her neck? Oh, what if she stabs me over here? My unsteady ass hand. I got the ass all the way up my. See, that's why you need petroleum jelly. Yo. No, this is why you, you know, don't do it. Like she was just, anything. she like just got it on. This is awful. God. They better not have sent me a vial of mother water. Oh, okay, I feel it. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 it's awful. Okay. Guys, why are you doing this? Oh, okay. You're you're gonna like, but you're gonna kill oh, yourselves. Okay. Oh my God. Guys, mm. never do this. Never mm, do mm, this. Mm. Okay, other ear. Oh, shit. I hate the fact she's like touching everything and like, just like hand, like. Okay, please be more careful than me because. No, don't do it. Don't be more careful. Just don't do it. This is such a bad idea. This right here is burning. Okay, I'm not surprised. Oh, it looks awful. It looks so a red. Down on my shoulder. Stop. You're like scratching. She's like touching yourself. Stop touching yourself. It's already been six minutes in my ears. It looks like that I put, I put a lot on the bottom. Oh, it looks horrible. Your so cells like, are dying. Now, I do not recommend this, kiddos, but like I said. No. Just don't do it. Don't. Oh. Ooh. I should have never did that. I can't imagine how much that is hurting. I should have never did that. I cannot imagine how much that is hurting. That's awful. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm burning myself. Oh, it's been approximately 10 minutes. Her Kiddos. ear looks awful. I'm going to give you a close up of my that ear. That looks horrible. Now, this is the result. This is the result. Oh, let me see. It looks disgusting. Doesn't really hurt. I don't know. I'm. It's not hurting because you've killed your cells. You've killed your cells. That's why it's not hurting. Take a little paste you made. Should not be wasteful. And she's. Oh, is that a soothing cream? I don't like. I, this it is so hurt. unbelievable. I'm like I don't a even like. Bit of pressure, I, I, not a lot of pressure. Honestly, it doesn't hurt at all. It's because you've killed your cells. And it looks awful. It looks like your ears dead. It looks like your cells are dead, and you've like your ears like dead. Honestly, I think I can do another treatment in the next couple three days. No, I don't do not. This is not. I love how she's calling it treatment. This is this isn't treatment. You're not a doctor. Like, oh, it looks awful. It looks like her skin is dying. I mean, I I apologize, but I have to. 
just stop there. It's making me really angry. Like a lot of these videos kind of upset me and things that I get like triggered, blah, 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 make jokes and things. But like, this is genuinely making me really angry. I cannot believe like she has come online with a tutorial about using acid when she has absolutely no idea what she's doing. This isn't some baking video where she's accidentally put too much salt in the cake and she's like giving the information because who cares about too much salt in the cake? Just throw the cake away. It's disgusting. Like she's come online and giving you information about how to use 100% acid this is beyond irresponsible this is not, not even just like someone being stupid like if you want to do it yourself and go home and do it yourself do you know what fine live your life girl burn yourself that's your life if you want to put yourself at danger fine but the fact that she's coming online and giving like a detailed tutorial about how to use acid on your ear when she has no idea what she's doing is absolutely unacceptable like it's just not okay in any way shape or form i don't want someone to do that find some acid. What happens if they, someone finds it and then they drop it on themselves by accident because they bought it because they saw you and they're like, oh shit, now just like got acid burns all over my chest. Or like they, you know, they were putting it and they stabbed themselves with the neck or they accidentally splashed in their eye or something. Like this is, this is beyond ridiculous. And I'm not going to entertain anyone who comments, actually, this is not too bad. I don't care. Like this is, you should not be allowed just to buy acid on the, like, it's absolutely insane. Insanity, insanity, this is not happening. When you have like an irritated piercing, you can use tea tree oil to help yourself heal the piercing. I've done it myself, I use it. So I've got actually a vial in my, in my kitchen, in my bathroom. It's tea tree oil and it's 100% tea tree oil. When I use that, you have to dilute it a lot as you can burn the skin. So I've got a shot glass and I'll fill the shot glass up with saline solution. And I'll just put literally like two drops of, tea tree oil in it, mix it in and then use that and clean the piercing. And that's two drops of tea tree oil, which is 100%. And that's tea tree oil and you have to be that careful with it. When you have actual 100% acid, the fact that you have to be that careful with just tea tree oil is a big enough sign to know that if you're using actual acid and you're using that much and she diluted it by like this much, like I can't, I can't, I can't. So we are not entertaining any comments that are going to tell me that this is not a big deal or it's actually a proven method. No, no. No, because you should, the only person, if that, if that is true, the only people that should be doing this is licensed prof professionals in a controlled environment, not you at home in your bathroom playing around going, well, actually, I'm, I'm actually going to put it on for extra long time because I think I need it like this. I'm going to put it on like, and actually I'm only going to dilute it by this much. Like, no, no, absolutely not. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I am on the trigger train. I am the train. I am the conductor. I am the driver. I am the one driving off the cliff. I am the railroad. I am the floor. I am everything. I'm falling off to my death. I am also death itself. I'm so, I can't, I'm flying up to heaven and God's like, no girl, and pushes me down to hell. And the devil's like, no girl, and then shoves me back into the abyss. Like, I can't, like, this is just choo 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 choo. I, wow. Anyway, guys, <laughs> it's a lot, girl. Please hit the like button because it's really, really helped me out and share with all your friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. If you are still watching the video now, comment down below. Choices, said so I know that was a choice. <sighs> oh, anyway, guys. Again, yeah, I love you all. <laughs> Little uh, shout out to my lovely patrons whose names you can see on the screen here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being my patrons. But an extra special shout out to my top tier patrons, Elia Riguez, Alicia Marie, Austin Filden, Booster Shot 93, Brenna, Cassie Hill, Catback Human, Jill Herman, Christopher John, Robbie, Corin Pemberton, Demetri Settle, Heather Marie, Hero of the Sprites, James Burgess, Joyner Price, Caitlin Wright, Kat L, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Megan Holly, Maura Ganey Wolf, Sam Perfit, Samuel Patterson, Steph Utek, and Suz Mack. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. There's a link down below also if you'd like to become a patron. Oh my god, a lot girl. Anyway, thank you for watching. <sighs> don't use acid, guys. If acid gay, be everything you want to be. Is there any bitch that they say that you can't be you? Why is that? Because you don't use acid. Wow.